the first thing you should do to scale is not increase your prices, but decrease your prices by 50%. Lower price equals more customers and more income. Okay, that is a bad joke. Do not do that. In this video, I'll be sharing five ways to scale your web design agency in 2024. I'll also cover some strategies I use to scale my agency to six figures while running other businesses on the side. Now let me take you back to 2015 when I started freelancing. I had to rely on old school contact forms and if we were really fancy, we'd have a live chat software to speak with prospective clients. This often meant you had to be online and if you missed the chat, your lead goes cold. Definitely not ideal if they had a simple question about pricing or your previous work. Fast forward to 2023 and we have AI chatbots that help us automate the whole process and deliver great customer service. And in 2024, I think it's going to be even better. Nowadays, we can use tools like Aidbase to handle all our chats and ticketing for us, along with email requests, all in one place. Whatever tool you use for this, make sure you utilize AR for prospective client communication. Now that we have the prospective client side sorted, how do we convert them into clients? And what about managing the process from a lead to a client to managing the projects or even dealing with a team? That is where Client Manager comes in. Okay, a confession, this also happens to be my SaaS, but I would not add it here if I did not think it's a good solution. Let's say I was chatting with Elon Musk and he asked me a few questions on my website. Now he wants to set up a call. So I add him to my leads pipeline and get all his information. We schedule our call on Zoom and I get to know what his needs and wants are. Next, he wants a proposal. So I create one in a few minutes using an existing template. And if you are interested, I'll walk through some proposal tips in this video. Next step is Ellen signs the proposal. And because it's a big project, I want to make sure I meet expectations from his side and he meets expectations from my side. So I need to create a contract. So I do that in a few minutes and then I send it through to Ellen to sign. So what is next? For me, I always get payment upfront and I'll share why in that video. So that means I need to create an invoice. I send the link to Ellen and he pays almost immediately because he's got so much money and he thinks it's a price of a coffee. Now I can start on the project, but to do that, I need to get some information from him. So I prepare my client intake form and ask the questions that I need. Ellen then gets the link and completes the form in literally a few seconds because he's so efficient. And then I get notified and I celebrate because I have all the assets I need to get started. But there's one big problem. I cannot do it alone. I need a team. When it comes to building a team, I always recommend trying to work with your own network and the people that you know. And if you don't come right with that, freelance platforms are something I use regularly. For this project, I would need Golands and I would search for a developer, an SEO consultant and a copywriter. So after I do some initial searches for these roles and look at the experience level along with the projects they've done, and obviously confirming the hourly rate is in line with my budget, I would hire them and get them on board. In future, I'll record a dedicated video on hiring a team and working remotely. But for now, I prefer Golands as their platform is incredibly easy to use and their fees are actually much lower than other platforms like Upwork and others. Next step is I need to invite Ellen to our client project so we can collab together. And our goal is actually quite simple. Deliver a website that makes Mr. Musk happier than his previous marriages. To do that, use a web building platform that you feel comfortable with. For me, that is Wix Studio. So rather than creating a website completely from scratch, I'll use pre-made templates or create a website using existing components or wireframes. This is absolutely crucial. One of the most underrated ways to scale is by saving time. And the reality is time equals money. If we have more time, we can choose to make more websites, which means more income, or we can use that extra time to chill or play tennis or golf or even spend with family. So here's a confession. The last time I created a website completely from scratch was almost three years ago, and I'm not alone in that. As long as we deliver quality websites for our clients that gets results, whether we spend three weeks or three days, it is completely irrelevant. So I'm not going to build out a full website in this video, but you get the idea. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I struggle to talk fluff. This next tip may actually sound fluffy, but just bear with me. What is it? Accountability. Without accountability, I would not be here recording this video. Being able to chat with a friend to make sure I was on track to achieve my goals was the motivation I needed to push through. Now, imagine a community with freelance and agency experts as well. Even better is that it's completely free. 
That is what my community, Freelance Fam, offers. We have people just starting out to freelancers and agency owners making over a million dollars a year. And most importantly, we are all focused on helping each other succeed. Now, whether you join or not actually really doesn't matter to me. But what does matter is that you achieve your goals next year and someone is holding you accountable to what you want to do. Now, I touched on five ways to scale your web design agency, but I want to get more strategic here. Way too many freelancers try to sell something that is confusing or not defined. What are you selling? Who are you selling to? And why should they buy from you? This is what a clear offer answers. Offers like, I do web design, I do SEO, I do Google Ads. These are fine, it can work. But you're competing with so many other freelancers offering the exact same service. And I think there's a better approach to crafting your offer. I do websites and marketing for plumbers. I get accountants more business with effective Wix Studio websites. I help course creators increase conversions with professional landing pages. Web design for B2B SaaS companies. Custom development to build your MVP within three months. These are clear offers and it separates you from the crowd. As we head into the AI era, I think this is going to be crucial. Now we know how to define our offer. We need to know how much to charge for the offer. I have a lot of content on this topic and a video in more detail here. But as a very quick summary, focus on the monthly income. Retainers or productized subscriptions help cash flow and it's a predictable way to focus on growth. Move from hourly pricing to value-based pricing. Don't get penalized for being efficient and stop trading time for money. As you get results for clients, charge accordingly. And finally, we need to get clients. I cover a lot of detail about that in this video, but here's a quick overview on client outreach. Use LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google to scale fast on a limited budget. Here are a few guidelines to follow. Most sales only happen in the follow-up, so make sure you have a good email follow-up sequence that you can use to close the deal. You can use something like Lemlist or Instantly for this. Don't be sleazy in your outreach messages. Imagine you were receiving messages. What would you like to see? A message like this or a message like this? And I hope you didn't choose the first one. 100 personalized messages are much better than a thousand random cold messages. As a recap of what we covered, Use an AI assistant chatbot to automate prospective client communication. Use a client management and onboarding tool to manage everything from converting a lead to a client and managing the project as well as your team. Hire the right team from reputable freelance platforms and don't forget to check your network too. Deliver quality professional websites with the right tools and save time by using pre-built components and templates. Don't do it alone. Join a community for accountability and grow with others. And finally, nail your offer, your pricing, and be proactive in your outreach. That's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.